Hello, my name is Roya Misavian and I'm very glad to be with you today. Did you know the total cost of drug abuse in the United States is more than $600 billion each year? $193 billion for tobacco, $193 billion for illicit drugs, and $235 billion for alcohol. I believe everyone must know what addiction is and how it affects a person's body and life. Some organizations such as American Psychiatric Association and American Medical Association do lots of research about addiction to inform people, especially teenagers and parents. Results from NIDA fund funded research have shown that prevention programs involving families, schools, communities, and the media are effective in reducing drug abuse. Today I will talk about drug abuse, drug addiction in teenagers, young drinkers, and the facts about addiction. Do you know anyone around you who is addicted to a drug or alcohol? This speech will be helpful for you to get more knowledge about addiction and how to change someone's life. Americans spend billions of dollars on drugs. Many people even abuse prescription medicines and common household substances to get the pleasure that they get from illegal drugs. In 1999, about 9 million people were taking pain relievers, stimulants, and sedatives for non-medical reasons. Some young people even sniff or inhale glue, uh, paint, and other chemical products to get high. There are some new laws to control drug abuse, such as the Harrison Act to prevent doctors from prescribing narcotics for addiction and the Marijuana Tax Act to punish drug abusers. Too much money is spent each year to fight with drug abuse. Unfortunately, drug addiction in teenagers is very common these days. Most of them believe drugs are helping them concentrate. Parents need to watch their kids' irregular or antisocial behavior and weak character. Some counseling groups will be helpful for those who are addicted to a drug or want to get more knowledge about addiction. There are some places such as rehabilitation centers or drug addiction treatment centers to help addicts to quit. Alcohol abuse, especially in teenagers, is a real problem in the United States. According to the government's national survey on drug use and health, in 2005 about 10.8 million persons aged 12 to 20 reported drinking alcohol in the past month and nearly 7.2 million were binge drinkers. Public service announcements and education can help young people to get knowledge on the dangers of drinking, safe levels of drinking, and ways to reduce harm from drunkenness. Addiction is a choice. Some people believe that addiction is a biomedical condition, which means drugs create physical dependence and stimula stimulate a person's reward system and produce an intense pleasure so that person wants to repeat that experience again and again. However, drugs are more of a psychological condition than biomedical condition because taking drugs for most people is voluntary. Using a drug the first time is not addiction. Repeating this behavior makes it an addiction, which is a choice for a person. Even in treatments, using a medicine itself to treat the addiction is not helpful unless psychosocial interventions such as counseling groups is com combined with, um, with it because the problem with medication is after a while, the addict may become addicted to the drug they use for treatment. My plan to address the issue of addiction is to provide counseling and rehabilitation to recovering addicts. There are some groups such as the counseling groups sponsored by Narcotics Anonymous and Alcoholics Anonymous and individualized outpatient and inpatient counseling programs 
that focus more on the psycho psychological side of addiction. These groups help addicts fight their drug addiction. I spoke with you today about addiction and its effects on person. We talked about abusing drugs and prescription medicines, drug and alcohol abuse in young people, and the fact that addiction is more of a psychological condition than by medical condition because it is a choice for a person. Here's a website that I want you to please check out, www.drugabuse.gov. It will give you more information about this topic. We see many people every day, especially teenagers, who are addicted to a drug or alcohol. There might be someone in our family who has this problem. What we need to do is help them. Based on what we talked about, families and society have significant roles in a person's life. We already know it is hard to quit, but we should help addicts to get back to their normal life and enjoy it. Everyone can make a difference in this world, even if it is in small action. Helping addicts is a huge step to make a better world. I'm grateful for having the opportunity to present my views on addiction, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for listening.